Paul of Tarsus. Who is Paul of Tarsus? Well, Christians claim that Paul had a vision on his way to Damascus and they say that Paul was convinced by a vision that he saw claiming that it was Jesus and that he was inspired to do more good works uh, on behalf of Christ. However, not many Christians know that Paul actually cursed Jesus. In fact, Paul hated Jesus. Paul was on his way to Damascus in order to kill more Christians. Yet Christians say that Paul saw Jesus in a vision which not many people were aware of. Paul certainly did not mention his vision in anywhere of his epistles. This vision of his is only mentioned in the book of Acts. Anyway, the point here is not to talk about Paul's alleged vision. It is to discuss Paul's cursing of the man he claimed to be the son of God, the man that he thought to be divine, close enough to be God, who was risen from the dead and was ascended to God to sit at the right hand of God. So what did Paul say about Jesus? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters in Islam Welcome to my channel, The Muslim Apologist I'm your host, MNJ. Christians are sometimes unaware that Paul actually cursed Jesus in one of his writings in the epistle to the Galatians We read in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole. Paul was quoting from the book of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament. Uh, to be specific, it is in Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 23, where it says, You must not leave the body hanging on the pole overnight. Be sure to bury it that same day, because anyone who is hung on a pole is under God's curse. You must not desecrate the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. Now, Christians actually brandish this verse around and say that Jesus took in the curse of the law in order to redeem us from the sins of the world. However, let us study this verse deeply. Does this verse actually say as what the Christians claim it says? Isn't this a clear indication that Paul was actually cursing the man whom Christians claim to follow? The man which Christians say is God Almighty himself? Isn't it clear that Paul is saying that Jesus is cursed? Let us not forget that in Christian theology, Jesus is considered to be not only the Son of God or the literal begotten Son of God, but also that Jesus was God Almighty himself or God incarnate who came down as a man to earth. So isn't Jesus here, according to Paul, a cursed God? So what is the theological significance of this? Well, let us cut to the chase and we can see that when Paul is saying that Jesus took in the curse or took in a curse of the law, therefore, Jesus is cursed. If Jesus is cursed, it means that God is cursed. If God is cursed, how is it possible for me to worship a cursed God? Why on earth would I want to worship a cursed God. What could a cursed God do for me, especially in terms of salvation and redemption from sin, if a cursed God is himself cursed? Also, 
if God who is incarnated as Jesus has redeemed us from the law according to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 who did God redeem us from who did Jesus redeem us from I find this verse to be theologically disturbing as a Muslim I am taught to honor and love Jesus alayhi salam as a prophet of Islam I believe that Jesus alayhi salam is the Messiah I also believe that Jesus was sent on a godly mission to proclaim to the children of Israel regarding God's law and in order to bring the children of Israel back to God's path so how could I accept the idea that Jesus was cursed why should I believe anything that Paul says about Jesus when clearly Paul is saying that Jesus was cursed so Christians tell me exactly do you believe that Jesus was cursed according to the words of Paul do you believe the words of Paul more than the words of Jesus himself do you actually believe that God would want to take in a curse from from whom exactly in order to be a cursed God himself I cannot brain this seriously Christians I cannot brain this this is something you Christians will need to figure out for yourself anyway thank you for watching this video I hope inshallah this video has been beneficial to you please do not forget to like my video if you do like this video if you like to subscribe to my channel please do not forget to subscribe inshallah I'll see you again in a future video Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh